Hi, I'm Joe Turner, and I got four letters for you. L, G, B, T. What does it mean? What's the club all about? Stay tuned to find out. LGBT means lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender. Lesbian, gay, bi, transgender? Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, and trans. Hi, my name is Miss Beck, and I am the advisor for the LGBT club here at Waldwick High School. Um, and for anybody who doesn't know, LGBT stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender. And for the LGBT community at large, uh, this is the most comprehensive acronym that we have. Six in ten LGBT students report feeling unsafe at school because of their sexual orientation. Personally, I think the most important part of raising awareness is just to talk about it because I know for a long time it wasn't something you would talk about in public and I think it's great now that we've turned to being able to talk about it and people being able to talk about their own experiences and I think the only thing that's really going to help at this point is talking about it more and being more open about it and getting rid of the stereotypes that people seem to have. What we try to do to raise awareness for um, just LGBT in general um, and what I feel is most effective is the use of education and um, advocacy. So um, trying to make people aware of what goes on in the community, uh, who is in the community. Um, a lot of people, and I came in a couple of months ago to kind of explain what it means to be transgender. Um, a lot of people didn't know going into that, what's the difference between being gay and being trans. Um, so kind of just breaking down this very basic kind of like 101 information about what the community means, I think is really helpful so that people understand and don't feel threatened or confused or like weirded out. Because um, I think once somebody's aware of something, it's less threatening. 80% of gay and lesbian youth report severe social isolation. 42% of people who are LGBT report living in an unwelcoming environment. The challenges with being LGBT aren't really, they don't lie in the fact that you are LGBT, but they lie in the way that society perceives you. And I mean, like everybody knows it's gotten a lot better in a lot of places, but you can still go somewhere and have someone call you like a flaming homosexual. The one place I know of that might have a little bit of a problem with LGBTs might be where I'm from, which is Michigan. Because I've been, because if I had to tell you personally, I was bullied for being gay. In 2013, 92% of adults who are LGBT said they believe society had become more accepting of them than in the past 10 years. I think it's great that people uh, ha are now recognizing that they have the freedom to uh, be who they are. Uh, it's, it's, it's about time. Uh, well, I feel very strongly that everyone should have the ability and have the right to feel comfortable um, living their own lives and living the life that's truthful for them. You should never pretend to be someone you're not. So with the LGBT club here, I think it gives everybody else freedom to be whoever they are. And it's important. You should never pretend to be somebody else. Waldeck is very accepting of the LGBT community. However, there are other places in the United States where it's not okay to be yourself. But with how far America has come, there is no doubt that things are going to get even better. I'm Joe Turner reporting for the Warrior Broadcast Center, signing off.